In this lesson, let's use the concepts we have learned in the previous lessons to create a call animation in 3D over, say, an advert of an e-commerce uh, website. So let's go on and create a new project and uh, import some images. So I have uh, PNG images here that uh, we are going to use. So it's, we're going to create an advert that uh, that is for an e-commerce website, uh, maybe showing off the different uh, attires they have in, your, in their store. So uh, let's import those images, maybe drop them in a, two, in a new folder. Uh, let's create a new composition, right click in the, in the layers panel. Uh, right click in the projects panel, and then new composition. Uh, let's have that, uh, let's make a 720, a 720 by 1280 by 70, the 720 composition. Uh, let's change the frame rate to 60, to 60 frames, and then uh, the animation should let us make the animation about uh, 15 seconds. It might even be less than that, but uh, we'll see. So hit, hit OK. Uh, let's zoom in. So I have these images yes, of different models and uh, showing off. Uh, different clothing designs so that's what we are going to do so what we can do first is drop in all these images here and uh, pre-compose each one of them uh, this will be useful uh, in the future so let's do that first so pre-compose you can hold down shift con control shift c to pre-compose uh, leave all attributes in composition one. Let's see. So that's uh, the first image. Uh, do the same for the second image. Then the, the third. And the next. And the next. So we can rename these compositions. Maybe let's call this here uh, image one. Let's rename these to image two, then image three, and then image four. Uh, so let's turn them into 3D layers. Make sure you are in the switches mode instead of the blending mode. So let's make them 3D layers and uh, let's position them like so uh, let's change the resolution to about half so that we are seeing better pixels okay so there are five images so i think i didn't rename this so this is image five so this is what we have now let's split this view area into two uh, let's change this to active camera and then change this to top so we want them to, to appear in a circle uh, so that we can rotate one by one so we view one and then the next is like it will be like a carousel slider something like that so let's get image one uh, position them in the center like that let's first scale everything down and see so that we see the entire thing okay now let's get image one in the center uh, then select image two bring her to the left and then push her a bit behind like that and then let's get image three now push push her as well something like that let's bring this one here And uh, this, and this one around there. Let's bring image four uh, to the left, around there, and then image five, just around there. Bring her a bit forward, uh, maybe a bit down. Let's scale her a bit, so that she's in the same height as image two. Uh, bring image 
6 what image is that image 5 image this is okay this is image 3 okay so she's supposed to be around here uh, bit up maybe scaled down a bit and then image 4 should be around there image uh, four five yeah four and five should be around there so if we go to this view and change to custom view one we can see this is what we want so the kind of animation we want is something like this so this animates and then the next and then the next and then the next something like that uh, that's why we have uh, that there so uh, we can now go back to top view sorry to top uh, two screens uh, top view and uh, let's see how to approach this so we can add a camera now new right click and then new camera let's leave everything as is and then click ok so we have our camera we're not going to animate the camera we're just going to animate uh, these the other layers so yeah, we can leave the camera there and uh, yeah let's let's try to play with the camera settings a bit and see if we change to a 15 millimeter uh, let's see a 200 millimeter that's not what we want this maybe a 28 millimeter and then uh, move forward a bit so we can either drag the camera forward or you can use the camera tools so if you hit C a few times until you see this icon here you can move the camera forward something like that and now let's see how to do the animation for this uh, we can add a null layer a null layer is just a layer that doesn't get anything it doesn't it doesn't contain anything it doesn't uh, take effects it doesn't take anything but uh, it can be animated uh, so we can use this to parent you can use the, we can use this as a parent for all other layers i remember we talked about parenting in a different video so if you if you don't remember how to do that you can go in and search for the parenting video so let's make sure this is a 3d layer as well and that uh, is it's in the middle of the girl so this is our null layer we can push it in the middle here and now let's parent all these layers to the null object remember in parenting you select the layer and then drag this icon until you see a string and then t attach it to the to the parent you want to, to to the layer you want to be the parent or you can select the layer and then from this drop down menu under parents make sure you are in the switches mode instead of the normal in, instead of the blending modes uh, so select the layer you want to be the parent so for this layer you want the null layer to be the parent or you can just select all the layers you want to be uh, children of the null parent of the null layer and then just drag uh, that icon until you see the string attach it to the null layer and then all these layers will be will be a children of the null layer so now when we move the null layer around you can see we, we can see you can see that uh, we have this cool animation let's first move this to one view and change this to custom to camera one or ca active camera sorry and if we s move this you can see we already have some good animation uh, you can even add a background here uh, let's use a solid background uh, let's change this to let's try a white background uh, for this background it won't be it won't be uh, a 3d layer it will be just a normal layer so now <coughs> yeah you can have simple animation if you want to add a, f a flow something like a flow uh, we can simply create another layer solid layer i uh, give it a more light not a uh, a less lighter color than the previous one than the background hit ok and now we can add a layer mask to 
this layer. Uh, we can use an eclipse, an ellipse tools to draw a layer mask just around there, and uh, use the f and go in the mask options and increase the feather a bit, and then bring this layer below all the 3D layers. Let's see, let's see, what have I done? Okay, yeah, bring this around there. So maybe we want, we want to make it a little bit darker, so let's go into effects and select a few effect. Change this to something, let's change it to black and just reduce the opacity until we find something we like. Maybe even scale it a bit. Uh, maybe just move this. I no, let's not scale it. Let's just uh, increase the feather. So you can click, you can use the shortcut F to bring the feather options if you have a mask on any layer. So if we increase that a bit and maybe squish uh, this uh, this mask a bit. Maybe let's reduce the feather a bit, a bit more. Let's see. So we don't we have that horizontal line there, about there, and maybe reduce the opacity of the layer again. Something like that. And now, uh, maybe let's move this. Uh, layer number five just down there so that uh, she's on the floor yes yeah, so you can see if we go to the camera layer and we bring out the camera tools you can see we can make some good animation here but uh, that's not what we go that's not the kind of animation we're going for let's make sure you save the project the project I'll make this 3d2 uh, we can, now that we have uh, all these layers parented to the null object, we can rotate the null object and you see we, we will have the animation we want. But the thing is that uh, the orientation of these images is still, is still off whenever we rotate. So let's go to the null object, reset rotation, and then let's go to layer one. To maintain the orientation towards the camera, we can select the layer Go to layer, uh, then go to transform, select auto orient, select auto orient. I uh, will get this orientation options. I uh, change it from off to orient towards camera. So now when we rotate the num the null layer, rotate, you can see the orientation is always towards the camera. Now let's do it for all for all the other layers, just select them all, go to layer, uh, transform, auto orient, orientation towards camera. And now if we rotate the null object, you can see we are maintaining that rotation. So now, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. We can add the animation we want uh, so we can start with the animation if we go to the rotation. Let's see, is it rotation? Is it? Yeah, it's the Y rotation. I uh, set a keyframe there, and uh, we can be we can begin off with a quick rotation. So we can start off. Let's start off with a rotation from there. Let's see how that works. You want to start with a very quick rotation and then it slows down before it goes to this girl. So let's see. Uh, let's maybe bring this back. It's too much. Yeah, it's, it seems to be rotating quite a few times. So let's delete this keyframe. Uh, just select the keyframe and hit delete on your keyboard. So after this, so the girl is about, and let's move this to about there, and then add another keyframe. 
when the girl when the first girl is around here so let's see and then bring this so yeah that's what we have uh we can add motion blur to this so that is more fluid uh we can uh, in the toggle switches if you are in the switches or area you can click on the, you can click on this you can toggle this uh motion blur option this icon here and then switch it switch it on for the composition to have motion blur in your animation so let's uh reduce the preview area a bit now let's preview and see you see now so that's the animation we have uh, so after that maybe uh, we can after the animation gets here let's bring up the animation and see click you to bring out to bring out all the keyframes for that layer and uh, so after the animation gets here about here we can go to that layer and uh, let's bring out the scale uh, options activate the keyframes and then increase the size to about there to about there maybe add some separation uh, slow it down a bit and uh, then maybe let's bring it back down after a few seconds so let's also keep some rotation a bit some small rotation and see how that goes uh, but but you see the animation is too linear uh, so to make a smooth animation we can select all the keyframes and hit and hit you can select all the keyframes right click and change uh the key keyframe assistant from uh, and change the keyframe assistant to is in is out so let's try this and see or you can double click or you can click on the animation hold control and then click on the animation to change to toggle between different uh, keyframe aff assistance so you, you see it's now a bit smoother than uh, than it was before uh, another way to make uh, some cool animations you can click on this icon here uh, the graph editor to bring out the graph editor for your keyframes and then right click in the graph editor and change it to let's see animation animated property let's see is it animated pro and change it to as edit speed graph and now if you zoom in a bit we can select those control points and then smooth them a bit make them a bit smoother then let's try let's try moving this around the y-axis a bit let's see how that plays out so it seems that uh, our rotation is too much so let's go back to the keyframes and uh, go to this uh, second keyframe maybe change the rotation to about uh, six let's see 60. so it seems to be going back before it uh, it comes around so let's go back to the graph and see how's that coming about why is that coming let's see so you see in animation you really need to do some tweaking before but uh, i think we'll do that when we are polishing the animation so let's first work on the other uh on the other 
on the other part before we start working on smoothing out the animation. So we are here. Uh, let's go to about this frame and then the animation picks, the rotation picks up again. Let's add a keyframe there. And then at here, the animation goes up, goes around. Now it just switches to this, this girl, and then slows down a bit for around here. And then speeds up again. In this girl, and then slows down, slows, slows a bit, slows again to here, and then wait, wait, how am I doing this? Let's see, and picks up, goes to this one, slows, goes to the next one, okay, goes to the next one here. Let's delete this keyframe. Then slows down a bit. And then picks up. Goes to the next girl. Then slows down for a few seconds. Then picks up again. Then slow speeds up. Then slows down again and then speeds up so let's let's play back this a bit Maybe let's remove this scaling because I don't think it's working very well. So let's scale this back again about there and let's preview. So it seems this rotation is too much. So let's remove this keyframe and uh, push this, these keyframes to the beginning. So that's our animation and see it's pretty cool and uh, yeah 